Flying robots? Drone taxis? Facial recognition tracking everyone? And Michelin star restaurants for every person? These are just some of the promises the $500 billion future city Neom is set to accomplish. Surpassing Silicon Valley's level of technology, beating Hollywood in the entertainment business, and overshadowing the French Riviera as the ultimate vacation spot, the world has never seen anything like Neom. How did this come to be? Is it as unbelievably lavish as the rest of the kingdom? And why is it so controversial? Welcome to Al Ascent. Today, we're bringing you an inside look at Saudi Arabia's $500 billion future city, Neom. So, what is Neom? It's only the future. Literally. The name Neom is made up of two words. The first three letters are an ancient Greek prefix, neo, which means new. The fourth letter comes from the Arabic word future. This is the new city, and it's something straight out of a science fiction movie. It's part of the Saudi Vision 2030, which is a plan that's meant to reduce the nation's heavy dependence on oil and diversify the economy and develop public service sectors. This soon-to-be iconic city will be located in the Tabuk province of northwestern Saudi Arabia, north of the Red Sea, east of Egypt, south of Israel and Jordan, and across the Strait of Tehran. It will span a staggering total of 26,500 square kilometers, or 10,200 square miles, and will extend 460 kilometers along the coast of the Red Sea, then along with Aqaba Gulf. 468 kilometers of coastline with lively beaches and vibrant coral reefs are set to be included, as well as sprawling mountains that can reach up to 2,500 meters high. If you thought the location was ambitious, then take a look inside, which you'll be able to do by 2025. That's right, this futuristic city's first section will be completed by 2025. By then, the first projects such as Neom's airport and a lavish resort will be finished. A statement revealed that the government has also constructed an extravagant palace. On October 24, 2017, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, also known as MBS, announced this mind-blowing project at the Future Investment Initiative Conference in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. What he revealed will shock you. According to him, Niam will be independent of the existing governmental framework. It will have its own labor and tax laws, as well as an autonomous judicial system. The latter is something we'll elaborate more on in a moment. So keep watching. Spoiler alert, it involves robots. The idea of Niam started about four years just after MBS's father ascended to the throne as king. The crown prince was looking to basically change the face of the economy. And in his quest to do so, he brought up a map of Saudi Arabia on Google Earth. His eyes immediately landed on what looked like an utterly blank slate in the northwest quadrant. There, he decided he would build the future. He hopped on an airplane and flew there, probably one of his private jets. He found that during the summer, the northwest quadrant's temperatures rose to a scorching 100 degrees. But the beautiful mountains nearby, they got snow in the winter. Thus, the plan was hatched. When speaking about the launch, the Crown Prince said that this was his way of relieving urban spaces from pressure and accommodating the expanding global population. In his words, by 2050, commute durations will double. By 2050, one billion people will have to relocate due to rising carbon dioxide emissions and sea levels. Already, he said, about 90% of the population breathe polluted air. So why should we sacrifice nature for the sake of development? Why should 7 million people die every year because of pollution? Why should we lose 1 million people every year to traffic accidents? And why should we accept wasting years of our lives commuting? Neom proposes a new way of living, an alternative way, one that will preserve 95% of the area's nature. How does MBS plan on that? And why is it so unbelievably expensive? Neom will be a powerhouse in the world when it comes to power and water production, and storage. 
The city will be powered with futuristic wind and solar power. The city is expected to provide 380,000 jobs and contribute $48 billion to the kingdom's GDP by 2030. David Reevely, the chief executive of Solar Water, who was working on the city, stated, Our game-changing desalination technology is 100% carbon neutral and entirely sustainable. In Neom, we have found a partner who has a strong vision of what a new future looks like in harmony with nature. The entire city will rely on water desalination. The water distribution network? It will ensure minimal water loss by being connected through an advanced internet of water infrastructure. Cutting edge technology aside, let's talk more about some of the more outlandish features of Neom. It's the robots. Apparently, the plans for the city include using robots to perform many functions, especially security. According to Neom's board, this should be an automated city where we can watch everything. A computer can notify crimes without having to report them, or where all citizens can be tracked. Robots will take over home delivery, caregiving, and logistics. As citizens fly drone taxis to work, yes, that's also a thing. Robots will clean and swipe their homes to shiny perfection. Robots and drones aside, one of the Neom's most attractive features is its unprecedented walkability. Walking, cycling, and electric mobility devices owned by the citizens are prioritized. All leisure centers, green spaces, schools, medical clinics, and daily services will be within a five-minute walk. For long-distance travel, all areas are accessible within 20 minutes due to the state-of-the-art high-speed transit. The government plans to implement cloud seeding technology to moderate the temperatures to make the city cooler than Dubai. The daily life of a Neom citizen will include indulging in world-class restaurants whenever they want, as the city aims to have the highest rate of Michelin-starred restaurants per inhabitant. Other features include a Get this, Jurassic Park-styled island filled with robot reptiles. And while this isn't confirmed yet, there are rumors that the Saudi Arabia ban on alcohol won't be implemented here, according to sources close to the plan. Robots won't just clean your house, they'll also participate in a robo-cage fight, using advanced martial arts as one of the many sports the city offers. Advanced technology such as facial recognition, drones, and cameras will track everyone at all times to prevent criminal activity. In fact, artificial intelligence is set to have an imperative role in Neom. And the AI tech will be powered by 100% clean energy, providing pollution-free, healthier, and more sustainable environments for residents. And here is perhaps one of the most ambitious plans for Neom. It aims to have zero work or stress-related diseases. Before we get on with how Saudi Arabia was able to procure this astronomical budget, answer this question. Would you be willing to be a citizen of Neom City? Why or why not? Let us know your answers in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to become an Al Centior and leave a comment if you like this video. Also, press the bell button below if you don't want to miss any videos like this. Now you may be wondering, how on earth is Saudi Arabia able to find a whopping $500 billion to make plans for the city to come? The cornerstone investor is the Public Investment Fund, the Sovereign Wealth Fund. The rest of the investments have been collected over the last 10 years, but to this day, MBS is struggling to find investors to take a chance on the city. Why? Some people just don't share that futuristic vision, robotic housekeepers included. Up until 1957, the young nation didn't have a single university. So it's a worldwide known fact that historically, Saudi Arabia isn't particularly an expert in planning, management, and engineering. The fact that the $500 billion Neom will be built from scratch, rather than using the money to invest in existing Saudi cities, isn't particularly reassuring. Reflecting the Crown Prince's overly ambitious vision, anyone remember the other giga project Saudi Arabia was supposed to launch? There were plans to build the King Abdullah Economic City project in the early 2000s. 
which was a mega project announced back in 2005 by then King, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. In addition, foreign companies have stayed within a 10 mile radius of investing due to the legal system, alcohol bans, corruption, and social structures. MBS building a new city rather than changing existing ones just proves these foreign companies' reasoning behind wanting to stay away. However, in Neom's first board meeting, the documents state that starting Neom from scratch with independent systems and regulations will ensure the availability of best services without social limitations. All right, now that the construction of the city is almost finished, what do you expect actually waking up in this place to be like? Here's a vision of the future. Your house will be spotless. You'll probably have a Michelin star breakfast prepared for you and your commute to work. It will be over before your next song on your commute playlist starts. Maybe on your way back from work, stop by the Jurassic Park themed park. Whatever you do, it's guaranteed that you'll be living in a lap of luxury and indulgence and in one of the best cities in the world. And Al Centiors, that's a wrap for Saudi Arabia's $500 billion future city, Neom. What did you think of this science fiction dream? Would you be willing to live in it? Comment your answer down below. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one, and to become an Al Centior. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time for more. Take care.